Um, I came to Poland in March of 2022. Okay, I came to Poland in February uh, 2023. I came to study nursing in Lublin. Um, I came for study purposes as well, and obviously the job thing is a plus thing. Nah, <laughs> they didn't. Um, in Lublin, they didn't meet my expectations because everything is like, how can I say it? The buildings are very ancient, so it's a bit backwards. So that was a bit of uh, it's a disappointment in some way. <laughs> but when you come to Warsaw, it's like nice. You're like, okay, this is now giving Europe vibes. Then you're like, okay, this is nice. But the weather is hectic, man. It's cold. The snow, nah, I don't like it. Okay, personally for me, my experience was I was very disappointed by the word go because you know, people when they tell you about Europe, it's over exaggerated because we normally see stuff in movies. So when you get to the ground, you start to just realize that um, it's not really different from the life that we're living back at home, but you know, a few stuff, development stuff, and but then yeah, I was so disappointed. Personally, I would say, um, to me personally, Envy, they were a bit welcoming uh, than I thought because I thought they were going to be like more racist and stuff, but they're actually welcoming and accommodating. But in some cases, it depends on the situation now. Sometimes you might meet like older people and then they might treat you in a kind of way, but I would say I wouldn't blame them because we are new here. You're trying to figure out what are these people doing in our country. I think we would do the same when they come in our own space. So I would say they're quite welcoming. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I can add much to what she said because that's literally the, the same thing as in Lublin as well. They are welcoming to a certain extent again. Some of the elderly just have an off-putting nature to them. But you get used to it eventually and accept the, that you are... A foreigner in this country. Um, for me, it was actually quite easy because I used an agent. So the whole process was more like he was telling me what to do and all I had to do was give him the documents and he did everything else for me. So I can say I was just sitting most of the time and then I ended up just going to the visa offices and getting my appointment and everything done. Okay, um, as for me, I had a different experience, but I would say it was also easy as well, but um, I did everything by myself. So I had to investigate a bit more about the university, um, like find a background about the visa appointment stuff, what is required, but then yeah, for me, I did it myself and it was quite easy. nah they're lying to you the jobs here are tough as compared like for me because i think it's because the country the city i'm in is quite small so the job opportunities are quite limited for us foreigners so most of the time we work in restaurants as waiters or dishwashers or if you're lucky you can get a job in a hotel as a cleaner but as for me the past couple of years has been tough um my job is only like during the summer and during the summer we work in like factories or in the farm and if you're unlucky you can work in a cold room which is just the worst thing ever so summer jobs is what keeps us afloat as foreigners but yeah there's some lucky individuals that do get corporate jobs here but you would have hunted real high and low to get those jobs okay for me i would support her because a lot of people are struggling to get jobs and personally, I think because a lot of people are coming this side, uh, the market is no longer the way it used to be like before. Before you would get certain opportunities. Uh, personally, for me, I work in a customer service. But for me to get uh, the job, I had walked through like difficult jobs, McDonald's, KFC, um, factory jobs and stuff. 
but at the end of the day i feel like uh the demand is quite high nowadays so but then we shouldn't expect much because if you're coming from zim like as an accountant trying to find a job here you probably start from scratch a like factory job so i would say huh? it's quite difficult Okay, so in Warsaw, the cost of living is quite high than in Lublin. I think she would agree. Yeah. They quite uh, they pay like less price for the rentals. So here, basically, I think what we get, you can pay rent with it, you can survive, but then the little that you remain with, it's not enough to build something. We all want to develop something in life. We don't want to like be in one place. We don't want to be stationary. So I would say. For me, it's not quite okay because I would say maybe half of the salary is going to my rentals. So I would say, yeah, not quite nice at all. I kind of have a different opinion from her because in my city, things are really quite, not, I can't say affordable, but it's different as compared to Warsaw because Warsaw is quite a major city and it is the capital of Poland. So things are a bit high up there in the hierarchy. But in Lublin, things are quite affordable especially when it comes to the rental prices. If you compare the prices here in Warsaw and the Lublin ones, there's a huge difference. And that makes life easier for people in Lublin because you can put your rentals aside and also do something on the side. So it's, I can say it's easier to live in Lublin as well as um, start a business in Lublin because you've got, you may have a little bit more finance to juggle around in different places. <laughs> okay firstly for me i would say you can come here to study it's a good place to grow in but um i would advise don't come with a lot of expectations because you are prone to a lot of disappointment so just be that someone who's willing to start over and face what's available in that time because i can't promise you that if you come here you are going to get a job in a customer service, you're going to get a proper job because it depends by the people. Like we are different types of people coming from different places. So sometimes someone can apply today and get a job tomorrow. You can apply today and get a job um, in December. So I'd say for study, I would recommend it's a good place. But then in terms of like opportunity, yes, it's a good starting point to go anywhere else. Yeah, so I would encourage at the same time and i would stick with my statement do not come with uh, a lot of expectations yeah i agree with her don't come with a lot of expectations and also come with an open heart and an open mind don't be too close-minded because if you are you end up being jobless here because you end up um it's not always that you get a job that you're okay with but sometimes when push comes to shove, you settle for what's there because that that is actually what's there. And you just have to go for it because that's the only way you can get get the money actually. So yeah. Listen to her advice because it's actually the best you can get. And also can't be paid for the winter. It's horrible. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, that's my advice. Oh, thank, thank you, you guys. guys. Bye. See you.